What's up, Chiefs Kingdom? Welcome to the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. I'm Harrison Graham. On today's show, it's mailbag time. So use hashtag Chiefs or Super Chat to get those questions in, and we will answer as many as we possibly can. From Deldrick Smith with Blake Bell's touchdown. Patrick Mahomes has 13 different people that have touchdowns. Isn't that an NFL record? So I saw a discrepancy on this. I should double check. Someone said he's thrown to 11 different guys. You're saying 13. I think 13 is the record. I need to double check. But uh, either way, the Chiefs have spread the wealth a lot this year. And we kind of thought that coming in, right? With Tyreek Hill leaving, we knew Travis Kelsey would still get a lot of love. But... Juju, Valdez Scantling, Kadarius Tony's in the mix now. Bell comes back. Uh, Noah Gray, Jody Fortson, the running backs. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've all gotten their touches, their opportunities. And welcome back, Blake Bell. Could play a role down the stretch. Tony Fuentes, should we trade Butker? Well, nothing's going to happen to the offseason. I mean, he's, he's the kicker the rest of the way. Hopefully he figures it out because, look, if the Chiefs lose a tight playoff game, if I had to guess right now what the main reason is, it might be because Butker missed a, a big kick. And that's that's not something I would have suspected coming into the year, but he just hasn't been as good. It, it, it just is what it is. Whether he's still hurt, whether the holding's the problem, whether he's just not uh, sticking with his technique, I don't know. I don't know the root of the problem, but his field goal percentage is, what, like 76% this year? I mean, that's his career at percentages are 88%. I mean, it's well below his career numbers. Hasn't been good. It has not been good at all. From J.J. McCarthy's daddy, picture of Max Duggan, what's more likely, winning the Super Bowl or losing in the first round? Um, That's a good question right now. Probability, and that's a mathematic term, probability, would tell you losing in the first round is more likely because to make the Super Bowl, the Chiefs are going to have to win at least two, if not three, playoff games if they don't get the number one seed. Obviously, they've done that multiple times in the last few years. Uh, but the Chiefs got to be more consistent. They do. I mean, they can't play two, two-and-a-half quarters against the Bills or the Bengals and expect to win. We saw the Chiefs lose to the Bills and the Bengals in the, in the regular season. Now, the Chiefs are a 13-3 and three team. They have the best quarterback in football. Andy Reid's a hell of a coach. Like, they have all the ingredients to go all the way. But they got to tighten some things up. they got to do the little things better. They've been negative in the turnover margin this year. Uh, you know, those are things that you're not going to get away with most likely in the postseason. So hopefully they play better. I still think this is a team that can win the Super Bowl. But if I had to pick either losing the first round or winning the Super Bowl, probability would say pick losing the first round. So I'd probably have to say that. Now what do you guys think? Will the Chiefs win the Super Bowl this year? Type Y for yes. Type N for no. Probability would say no, but they've gone to four straight AFC championship games, so I fully expect them to be in the mix. From Kay Chapel on the extra point, it was for sure Tommy who messed up the hole, but the field goal looked more on Butker. What do you think we will do at the end of the season with our special teams? I don't know. If it's truly a Townsend problem, then I think you just got to have someone else hold the kicks. Backup quarterback can do that, whether it's Chad Henney or someone else next year. I don't think they'll make a change on the holder this late this season, but I could see it being something looked at in the offseason. You're not going to cut Tommy Townsend. He's one of the best punters in the NFL. Uh, but if the backup quarterback needs to be the holder instead of the punter, uh, so be it because you gotta you, you got to fix that operation. If it is on the holder, then change the holder. If it's on Butker, then... Well, maybe he enters next year with a shorter leash. He's been so good for this team for many years, but this year he is not, and that's just a fact. From Dale Webb Jr., off topic, I got married over the weekend, and we had a Kansas City Chiefs-themed th wedding. Congratulations, Dale Webb. Everyone say congrats in the chat for Dale Webb Jr. Get the comments flowing. Congrats to Dale. That is awesome, my man. Uh, marriage is a beautiful thing. I've been married, uh, you know, two and a half years now. It's flying by and got a kid coming in April. So, uh, congratulations. Uh, what a new year to you. You've married, new year, Chiefs playoff run coming up. So, get the congrats going. Get the DWJs going. Congrats, Dale. Shout out Trizzy Trace for getting this, uh, graphic made. Congrats to Dale Webb Jr. He's been watching the Chiefs report for a long time. That is awesome. Uh, wish you and your uh, SIG other a lot of happiness. Rich King, who would you want the Chiefs to play in the Super Bowl that you think would be a great matchup? I think like the most like 
how do I phrase this? I think the most like fun, like highly anticipated matchup would be either a rematch with the 49ers or the Bucks again, because uh, the Chiefs have played them both twice. Brady, you know, with Tampa Bay, I'd be surprised if they made a run. Dallas would be huge ratings. I mean, that for sure. You can't trust the Cowboys in the playoffs, but that would draw huge. I don't think Philadelphia is going to do it. I just I don't know if they're ready for that, uh, to be quite honest. NFC is wide open. I don't know what's going to happen in the NFC. Uh, I mean, do the Packers sneak in and make a run? Who knows? Uh, is Brady going to get – he's kind of gotten hot all of a sudden, so – We'll see, man. I, I'd like another crack at the Bucks. I mean, I definitely, uh, I definitely would like to see that. Uh, but it would also be pretty depressing if they lost to this Bucks team that has not been that good this year. So we'll see. Uh, Got to get there first, and uh, then the chips will fall where they may. BetUS sponsoring today's show. If you think the Chiefs are going to make the Super Bowl, go put your money where your mouth is with BetUS. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet to sign up with BetUS, then plug in our promo code, Chiefs125. That'll get you 125% deposit bonus. Lay down 100 bucks. They'll give you 125 for free. Extra money to gamble with with BetUS. We've got the updated MVP odds. Um, obviously, minus 850 for Mahomes. You'd have to put down 85 to win 10. But if you think it's a lock, uh, then you can get some money there. If you think Joe Burrow is worth a little 10-piece, uh, think there's an outside shot he can win it. I don't think putting money on Allen or Hurts is worthwhile at this point, but uh, feel free to go put your money down, chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet, or use promo code Chiefs125. Achilles, draft Darnell Washington, 6'7", 260. Sheesh. He's a fun tight end. Now he's banged up. Uh, we'll see if he plays in the national championship game against TCU. Had an ankle injury against Ohio State. But, yeah, he's athletic. He's talented. Uh, that other tight end Georgia has, Brock Bowers, who's not draft eligible, but he will be next year. He's a stud as well. But Washington's fun. I think a day two type of guy, second, third round, uh, could be a fun type of player in this offense. XJG clips are the Vikings frauds. Yes. <laughs> I think they can win a playoff game, um, but in terms of like being a real Super Bowl contender, I mean, look, they deserve a lot of credit for winning a lot of close games, uh, but and they've pretty much lost all their big games, and they've gotten blown out in a lot of them. I mean, Dallas hung 40 on them. Aaron Rodgers just blitzkrieged them yesterday. You, you had a chance to eliminate the Packers from playoff contention, essentially, and you get blown out. So uh, I think the Vikings could win a playoff game. Decent chance they'll play the Giants in the first round. Uh, that's a game that I think Minnesota could win, but I, I don't see them getting past the divisional round. Teams in the NFC I like over Minnesota right now are Philadelphia, Dallas. I think you got to put Green Bay in there if they can make the playoffs, and obviously San Francisco. That's at least four teams. So I think they probably win a playoff game, but that's probably it. Now join the family here at the Chiefs Report as we post daily videos for 100% free. We want more people in our kingdom here at the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. Trying to get to 35,000 subscribers. Last time I checked, we were like 200 away, so help us out. Hit the sub button. You won't regret it here on this show. Got a few more on this mailbag. Isamori, what trades do you think the Chiefs making this offseason? I don't know. Um, I don't know what trades they could or uh, would make. Um, I mean, Obviously, there's Devontae Adams trade rumors out there, but the Raiders ain't trading him interdivision to the Chiefs. There's just no way that's going to happen. Uh, plus, uh, they didn't pay Tyree Kill $30 million. Why would they take on Devontae Adams $30 million? So, don't think that's happening. Do you tag and trade Orlando Brown if you want to move on there? He's played better lately, which is a good sign. Um, I don't know. I'd have to think of some other trade possibilities, uh, but we know Brett Veach is an aggressive GM. He's made a lot of trades in the past, so we'll see what he does. From Noah, I feel like the Eagles would make the Super Bowl, but with Hurts getting hurt, do you think he's going to fall off? Not really. I mean, I, I still think he'll play well. Now, will he play elite in the playoffs? Playoffs are a different game. We know that. Uh, he got that playoff experience last year and that loss to the Bucs. Uh, we'll see how much uh, that factors in this year. They obviously need him. I mean, they've lost two games without him. So uh, we'll see if he plays in Week 18 and, and um, how he plays in the playoffs. But if he plays well, they're certainly going to have a chance. He's had a good year. Uh, I think for Philadelphia, the defense has got to tighten up a bit if they're going to make a run in the NFC because it's harder to score 30, 35 points in the playoffs consistently. Uh, so that defense has to play better. Name your favorite Chiefs player Ever. It can be a current guy, it can be Mahomes if you want, or it could be someone else like a Derek Thomas, a Derek Johnson, Tony Gonzalez, whoever. Let us know who your favorite Chiefs player of all time is. 
down in the comments section. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, at HGramNFL, and on Instagram. Guess what? Same handle, at HGramNFL. You can follow me, ask me your Chiefs questions over there. If I didn't get them answered on this show, you can ask me on social media. So hit me up. It's at HGramNFL on Twitter and at HGramNFL on Instagram. More Chiefs and NFL content over there. So go ahead and give me a follow. Thank you.